Welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Veluti. Today we will be learning how to use partial products to multiply three-digit by two-digit numbers. The first problem is 157 times 42. So the first thing that I'm going to do is kind of estimate and think about what I think might be an appropriate answer. So I'm going to say that 157 is close to 160 and 42 is close to 40. So 160 times 40, 16 times 4 is 64, so 160 times 40 is about 6,400. So I'm estimating that my answer is going to be close to that. Now I'm going to solve the problem using partial products. 157 times 42. And again, with partial products, I'm going to really think about the place value of each of these digits. I'm going to start by doing 100 times 40, which is 4,000. One thing to notice is that I'm lining up the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands place so that I can do my addition more easily. Next, I'm going to do 100 times 2, which is 200. Now I'm going to do 50 times 40, which is 2,000. And 50 times 2, which is 100. Now I'm going to multiply the 7 times the 40, which is 280, and 7 times 2 which is 14. Now I'm going to take all of my products and I'm going to add them together. I'm going to get 4, 9, 2 plus 1 plus 2 is 5, and 4 plus 2 is 6. And that makes my final answer 6,594. This makes sense because it's very close to my estimate. Okay, now let's try another problem. 268 times 73. I'm going to estimate that 268 is close to 300 and 73 is close to 70. So my estimate is going to be 21,000. Now I'm going to actually solve this problem using partial products. 268 times 73. Again, I'm going to be thinking about these digits in terms of their place value. So first I'm going to do 200 times 70, which is 2 times 7 is 14. This is going to be 14,000, using my powers of 10. 200 times 3 is going to be 600. 60 times 70 is 4,000. 200. 60 times 3 is 180. Then I have 8 times 70 is 560 and 8 times 3 is 24. Now I'm going to take all of these products and I'm going to add them together. I'm going to get 4 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 2 is 16. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 1 is 10, plus 5 is 15. 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9, and 1 is 1. So my final answer is 19,564. And this answer does make sense because it's close to my estimate of 21,000. You can see how these products correlate to the visual model of the array. You can see the 200 times 70, the 200 times 3, the 60 times 70, the 60 times 3, the 8 times 70, and the 8 times 3. So you can see how partial products relates really well to the visual model of the array. I hope you learned a lot about using partial products to multiply three digit by two digit numbers. Thanks so much for watching.